Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so today I want to give you a tour of my new Fleetwood Surge. So let's get started. Okay guys, I want to give you a tour of the outside. This is a Fleetwood Surge. It's on an E450 Ford Super Duty chassis. Okay, and this is the outside. It's pretty sleek looking. You have the cab up here in the front, which is a standard four cab. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll open that up in just a little bit. Nice canopy. I have the shade on it, which really kind of adds to the privacy area. You have a hot water tank. You have propane here. And this is see-through storage, so it goes all the way through to the other side, which is nice. You have an outside entertainment area, which allows you to hook a TV up here. And there is a cable hookup down here as well. So that's very nice. Suburban furnace. Dometic refrigerator. You have your fresh water tank fill here. And then again, some more storage um that's a big that's a part of the bigger storage here let me show you that it's a very nice storage area it's a little disarrayed right now i'm going to be organizing this quite a bit but let me turn on the light here so you can see better i don't know if that helped at all but yeah it's a good storage it goes all the way to the back and it's under the bed so there's quite a bit of of storage in here Let's see, nice windows. You got a window here to the bedroom and you got a window over the kitchen, which is very nice. And then back here, another window in the back, which is in the back of the bedroom. As you can see, I have my blue ox tow bar. Then you have your connectors here with uh, black tank flush, your city water and your park cable, and then your electrical. And then down below here is the um, black tank and gray tank connectors over here we have the outside shower and gas and of course you have the slide and the slide does have a topper on it which is very nice and then there's some additional storage uh, one bay that goes all the way through here which is very nice a little inconvenient because it is under the slide and then you have the generator over here um, which is a own in 4000 and that's very nice as well and that works really good overall it's a very pretty class D RV it's 25 feet long and um, so far it's been very comfortable now one of the challenges I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have to get a, um, a front end alignment I believe because there's a lot of play in the steering right now and what I understand is that when they put the RV component on the um, chassis they don't always do okay let me show you the cab itself cab is very spacious um, it's a standard Ford cab obviously um, right now I've got about 1200 miles on the RV um, of those miles I think a hundred of them are mine but you can see the the privacy curtain here and then you have the other side of the cab over here very nice very comfortable to drive so and then there's old my old truck not not old as you can see I've got my base plate on and that's the trucks getting towed All right, now that we finished the outside, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the RV. Let's see here. All right. So as you enter the RV, you come to the dinette, which is currently serving as my office. But it has ample room. You have very nice cabinetry above the um, dinette. 
And then over here, you have the upper bed over the cab. And for those of you who know, my son is traveling with me, so this is his area. And then the TV. And then over here you have the control panel, which has all the controls. Your lights for the coach. It is a four seasoned RV, so it does have the tank heater. Your tanks, water pump, auxiliary battery generator, and um, LP um, hot water heater. The kitchen itself is very nice. Um, now it's not as big as the one in the trailer, but it does serve its purpose. Um, it seems like there's a lot, a lot easier food prep area than what I had in the trailer. And I think that's because the other counter space in the trailer would get all, I guess, cluttered. <laughs> Then over here you have a big wardrobe. You have the Dometic refrigerator. And then of course in the kitchen you also have a lot of storage. You've got utility, um, not utilities, but I mean utensils. So you have four drawers here and then there's two drawers up here. Or two cabinets up here. Microwave, um, your stove vent, three burner stove and the oven and then you have the bed in the back which actually has two windows which is very nice and of course you have a privacy curtain here there you go Lola you have a pantry area here which is very nice gives you lots of storage for pantry and then you have your bathroom sink area with a medicine cabinet and then over here of course you have the wardrobe which is a mess right now and I'm still working to get that fixed and all cleaned up and then of course you have the bathroom area a little tight but it's got a shower it's got a toilet and uh, sufficient for for what my needs are I'm taking a broad view from the back it's really quite a sweet little um, RV it is 25 feet so it's not real big but it's also you know I think ample the difference between the class C and the trailer is that there's not any walls uh, the class C or I'm sorry the trailer had a lot of doors in fact it had doors everywhere which was really challenging so this is very nice though all right, that's the inside. So I know the question is going to be why, after just a year, did you decide to get another RV? And so let me explain that a little bit. Number one, um, after the cross country trip, trip, which was about twenty, was it right about twenty five to twenty six hundred miles? Um, I realized that my truck was a little bit too light to uh, be carrying that trailer even though the trailer was a great trailer and it served me so well over the course of the last year I made the decision that I really really did want to get a class C you know when Chico was alive him and I used to talk about um, if in a perfect world what kind of RVs would we get and I always said I would get a class C he always said he would get a class C as well or a diesel pusher towards the end he was talking more about a diesel pusher but um, when I got to Sarasota um, and after everything was was done um, I had a few free days and so I went ahead and went to General RV and I was just going up there to look they were running some amazing specials and I really just wanted to see what they had and when the salesman showed me this Fleetwood Surge I immediately said oh my god this is this is the RV for me and um, there was so much off the MSRP that it made trading um, a lot easier in terms of you know I wasn't going to lose everything uh, for trading so early um, they made the process incredibly smooth and um, you know it was really I think all the elements came together at the right time and so I made the decision and then we spent my son and I who is traveling with me and he's not on camera these days but he may be on camera in the future but we spent the better part of Friday and Saturday moving into the RV and then we took off to Arcadia Florida 
Now, there's a couple things I do want to get done with it. First of all, I do need to get the front end aligned. Um, and so I've got an appointment for that um, next week. And then after we get the front end aligned, then I'm going to take it back up to General RV for a couple of small um, things that I want to get taken care of. And then we're heading out to Louisiana. So I'm hoping that I can travel as much or more with this setup. The um, Blue Ox has been beautiful. The truck travels beautifully behind it. Thanks to Mike Gondek for showing me how to disengage the powertrain so that I can uh, tow this thing. Uh, that worked out beautifully as well. So that's a little bit about the story. Um, I want to thank you all for your interest and for hanging out with me. And uh, thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And oh, by the way, just so you know, my RV Life Story Part 2 is still in production, but I promise it will be out soon. So thanks so much for your patience with me. Okay, everybody, have a great day.